हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू एट कॉमर्स एकेडमी लास्ट सेशन में हमने डिस्कस किया था प्रेफरेंशियस के फीचर्स स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ सेक्रेटरियल प्रैक्टिस फीचर्स ऑफ प्रेफरेंशियस आज हम कवर कर रहे हैं टाइप्स ऑफ प्रेफरेंशियस नाउ प्रेफरेंशियस आर डिवाइडेड इनटू एट टाइप्स दीज आर क्यूमुलेटिव एंड नॉन क्यूमुलेटिव प्रेफरेंशियस पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड नॉन पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफरेंशियस कन्वर्टिबल एंड नॉन कन्वर्टिबल प्रेफरेंशियस एंड रेडीमेबल एंड इ रेडीमेबल प्रेफरेंस तो आइए देखते हैं टाइप्स पहले क्यूमुलेटिव प्रेफरेंसेस नाउ इज द नेम सजेस्ट नाम से ही पता चलता है क्यूमुलेटिव मींस टू एक्यूमुलेट इकट्ठा करना नाउ क्यूमुलेटिव प्रेफरेंसेस आर दो शेयर्स ऑन व्हिच डिविडेंड गोज ऑन एक्यूमुलेटिव एक्यूमुलेटिंग टिल इट इज फुली पेड इफ फॉर एग्जांपल इन अ पर्टिकुलर ईयर कंपनी को कोई प्रॉफिट नहीं हुई कंपनी विल नॉट डिक्लेअर डिविडेंड सेकेंड ईयर में कंपनी इज ऑन गुड प्रॉफिट नाउ इन केस ऑफ क्यूमिटिव प्रेफरेंसेस क्या होगा कंपनी विल पे डिविडेंड फॉर बोथ द इयर्स लास्ट ईयर का जो था एयर्स ऑफ डिविडेंड प्लस करंट ईयर का जो डिविडेंड है दिस कंपनी विल पे एंटायर अमाउंट इन द सेकेंड ईयर वेन कंपनी डिक्लेयर्स डिविडेंड सो देर फोर इट इज कॉल्ड एज क्यूमलेटिव प्रेफरेंसेस नाउ प्रेफरेंसेस आर नॉर्मली ऑलवेज क्यूमलेटिव अनलेस एन अंटिल it is stated in the articles of association so cumulative preferences are those shares where dividend dividend keeps on accumulating if dividend it is not paid in the earlier years in next year if company is making profit then company will declare dividend for and pay dividend for both the years that is called as cumulative preferences next dekhte non cumulative preferences now what is non cumulative preferences here the dividend will not get accumulated dividend will not get accumulated so dividend on these shares does not get accumulated this means that dividend if dividend is not paid in the previous year then you have to forget about the dividend next year company is in profit and company has declared dividend you will get dividend for the current year not the past years dividend so dividend can be paid only out of the profit of the profit of that year now right to claim dividend will lapse previous year ka dividend aapko nahi mila wo dividend gaya current year mein profit hai out of the current year's profit company ne dividend declare kar diya so this is called as non cumulative preferences where dividend does not get accumulated previous year company did not declare the dividend the dividend is lapsed current year company has declared the dividend you will get dividend for the current year from the current year's profit so there is the main difference between cumulative and non cumulative cumulative mein kya hota hai ki dividend gets accumulated and dividend will be paid in the year in which dividend is declared but non cumulative mein kya hoga ki dividend does not get accumulated last year ka dividend company ne pay nahi kiya dividend lapse ho gaya aapka but in next year company is in profit company ne profit uh, company ne dividend declare kiya you will get dividend for the current year Okay. Next is participating preferences. Now, participating preferences means this preference share will participate in the surplus which is left over after payment of preference uh, preference shareholders plus equity shareholders. Dono ko pay karne ke baad jo bhi surplus bachta hai, in that they participate. So, see the holders of these shares are entitled to participate in surplus profit besides preferential dividend. When company declares dividend, company company will first pay dividend to preference shareholder. Preference shareholder का dividend pay करने के बाद company will pay dividend to equity shareholder. और equity shareholder का dividend pay करने के बाद भी अगर कुछ surplus amount बचती है, then this surplus amount will be distributed among participating preference shareholders. Clear? So see holders of these shares are entitled to participate in surplus profit besides preferential dividend. the surplus profit which remains after the dividend has been paid to equity shareholder up to certain limit is distributed to preference share holder so pehle preference share ka dividend pay hoga uske baad mein equity ka dividend hoga aur uske baad mein jo balance bachta hai up to specific limit it will be distributed to participating preference share holders clear 
Now, fourth and non-participating preferences. If there is no provision is made in article of association, then all preference shares are part non-participating preference shares. If there participating preference shares, then there clear-cut provision hoga in articles of association. But when article of association has no provision, nahi hai, it means it is a non-participating preference shares. They will get only ordinary dividend. जब कंपनी प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर का डिविडेंड पे करती है तभी उनको डिविडेंड मिलेगा उनको कोई एडिशनल डिविडेंड मिलेगा नहीं सो दैट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पार्टिसिपेटिंग एंड नॉन पार्टिसिपेटिंग पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफरेंस शेयर्स में क्या है कि आफ्टर पेमेंट ऑफ प्रेफरेंस प्रेफरेंस डिविडेंड इक्विटी शेयर का डिविडेंड पे करेंगे और उसके बाद भी कुछ सरप्लस बचता है तो अप टू सर्टेन सर्टेन स्पेसिफिक लिमिट इट विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर्स बट इन केस ऑफ नॉन पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफरेंस शेयर होल्डर they will get only normal dividend. They don't have right to participate in the surplus after payment of equity shareholders. Aya bhi aage ka dekhte convertible preferences. Convertible. Convertible preferences means those preferences which can be converted into equity share after a specific period. So the holders of these shares have a right to convert their preference shares into equity shares. The conversion takes place within a certain fixed period. Which is mentioned in the articles of association. It can be 18 months, 36 months, or any other period. So these are called as convertible preference shares, which can be converted into equity shares at a future date. Ab dekhte, what is non-convertible? Non-convertible preference shares means preference shares which cannot be converted into equity shares are called as non-convertible preference shares. Next point is our redeemable preferences. Now shares which can be redeemed after a particular period. Like say if company has uh, issued preference shares for the period of five years, which means it is redeemable after, redeemable after five years. So just say five years complete, company will have to repay the entire preference capital along with the outstanding dividend if any. So see, shares which can be redeemed after a certain fixed period of time are called as redeemable preference shares. A company limited by shares, if authorized by article of association, issues redeemable preference shares. Such shares must be fully paid and these shares are redeemed out of divisible profit only or out of fresh issue of shares made for this purpose. So it can be redeemed out of the profit, out of the profit divisible profit or for this purpose we can issue fresh shares for the purpose of redemption so that is called as redeemable preferences means preferences chiska capital hame repay karna padega after a specific period 3 years hoga ya 5 years hoga to hame usko pay karna padega these are called as redeemable preferences whereas non redeemable preferences are those shares which cannot be redeemed during the lifetime of the company. So shares which are not payable or it is payable only during the winding up of the company. When company wind up, then capital repay hoga. Such shares are called as irredeemable preference shares. But as per the Companies Act provision, Section 55 subsection 1 of the Companies Act 2013 No company is allowed to issue irredeemable preference shares So the difference between redeemable and irredeemable clear who are redeemable preferences are those preferences which can be repaid after a such specific period whereas it irredeemable uh, preferences are redeemable only at the time of winding up of the company otherwise it is not redeemable and as per the section 55 subsection 1 of the Companies Act 2013, no company in India can issue irredeemable preference shares. So I hope you have all the types of questions. This is a very important question for board. Whatever we have questioned, like features of equity share, types of preference shares, and uh, features of preferences is very important for your board exam. Clear? So I hope you have 
समझ में आया होगा कॉन्सेप्ट पूरा और टाइप्स ऑफ प्रेफरेंसेस अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया तो लाइक कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और शेयर कीजिए थैंक यू वेरी मच